Being a pharmacy tech who works at an integrative pharmacy, Daryl Lynn is familiar with the concept of combining natural and alternative therapies with evidence-based medicines. Good morning. Good. Oh. Hey, Tango. How's it going? When it came to vaccinating her pup, Tango, she looked for a vet who could provide her with services called titer testing. She found that service with Dr. Jason Rowan. That service helps Daryl Lynn determine how often she should vaccinate Tango and for what. Titer testing is a, a grabbing a blood sample from a dog or a cat and checking the antibodies to the vaccines that we're vaccinating against. There is a lot of controversy surrounding vaccination in animals and certainly as veterinarians I think we need to start thinking about the products that we're putting into to dogs and only doing when it's 100% necessary. I think people are open to the idea and would like to explore it more themselves. It's fairly new so it's all about educating people. So Arnica, maybe if you just want to get in there and kind of hold up the vein. All vets can do titer testing. It doesn't necessarily mean that they ought to or uh, agree with the principle. The, the basics behind it is if you get a positive antibody titer, it's directly correlated to immunity. The, the problem in the test lies if you get a negative, it may be a false negative. If you get a negative, it may not necessarily mean that the dog is not protected, but in that case, we usually vaccinate. Basically, we get a, a very small blood sample, and then we introduce the sample into the well of uh, the titer test and move it through the, through the different wells over a, a different period of time, and uh, then we measure the response by a, by a color change on the, uh, on the tabs of the, uh, of the uh, result card. And we can do distemper and parvovirus, uh, titers in-house, but uh, a lot of the other titers, like the cat titers and the rabies titers, we send out to Kansas State University. The positives of the titer test are that we can really, really limit the number of vaccines that we're giving, but the negative of the test is that we, we can't always guarantee that a negative is truly negative. I think anytime we're stimulating the immune system, we want to do that when it's absolutely necessary, and we just don't want to be haphazard. When Tango arrived at Dr. Jason's office, she came with a bit of extra weight around her waistline. And even though Daryl Lynn has always fed Tango a raw food diet, this perky puggle hasn't always had this much spring in her step. She's always been on raw food. I've always found it's a healthy and balanced option for her. But since we came here, Jason portion controlled her food for me. So now I just give her three pucks in the morning, three at night, and she's lost two and a half pounds. It doesn't sound like a lot of weight, but if you think that Tango was 25 pounds before, that's 10% of her body weight. The puck size is really, really advantageous to control portions, and the added moisture fills up her belly without giving her all those extra calories. She is able to do more, so she wants to go further on her walks, and she wants to go outside. Hi. From Kelowna for Shaw, I'm Tammy Williams.